Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my initial impressions of the Mamiya 7. So before we jump into it then, I just thought I'd share with you that before actually owning this camera, I'd never even seen one in real life. I've had this camera for four months now and a month of that it's actually been fixed, but I'll breeze over that later on in the video. All right, so literally the first impression I got of this camera was when I picked it up. It was way heavier than I was expecting for a plastic body. Now don't get me wrong, it's nothing in comparison to an RB67, but it is still pretty weird, and for some reason I wasn't expecting that. The ergonomics of the camera are insane. It's got a nice big grip down here, so you'd be doing well to drop it. Both the camera strap lugs are also on the same side, so there's nothing in the way of your shooting hand and getting in the way of this hand that's actually working the camera whilst you're using it. The camera is electric, all the settings are controlled from just this side here. Shutter speed, film advance, ISO and exposure comp. It features a bulb mode and two aperture priority modes. Just quickly, them two modes are A and AEL. When in A, the exposure reading will change when you half press the shutter as you're composing. So for example, half press, aim at the sky, it will change, aim at the floor it will change, it's responsive. But when in AEL mode, the half press will take a reading at that time and lock it. So even when you recompose, as long as you keep the half press down on the shutter, the shutter speed, etc. just won't change as you're recomposing. So far I've been super impressed with the work I've managed to make with this system. That Mamiya glass is super sharp and it really does create that like Mamiya 7 look that everyone always goes on about. The light meter has also never missed. I found it's given me really well balanced images and I've never found myself second guessing it. I really enjoy using this system, which is quite an important factor to me. Like having it in my hands makes me want to take photographs. The only camera I can compare that to really is the M6, so I can see why people do hype them up because it does make me want to shoot more, which then makes me create better work if I'm wanting to actually use the cameras I've got. It's just fun to use as well, especially compared to an RB67 not having the extra weight and having to look in the way to look at you find a double crank and whatnot. It's just quick, easy, fun to use and makes the shooting process more enjoyable. I would say a little bit faster than an RB, but for that 6-7 negative and having a fun time shooting that, I can't really ask for more. I'm just going to quickly share with you some of the things I wish I knew before I bought this camera. This camera has a few things in place to stop you from accidentally taking a photograph. Uh, the main thing is the curtain. Now, if that curtain is closed, you will not be able to take a photograph, even if the camera is on. So if you forgot to open it, like I have in the past, you may miss those moments. The curtain also stops you from removing the lens if it is not um, closed. If the curtain's open, the system will not like unlock the lens, so you can't take the lens off, you have to make sure that's closed. So if you're like me and you like to check the shutter speeds of a new camera when you get it, you need to know that it will not fire if the back door is closed. Yeah, It only will fire if the back door is open or there is film loaded inside. Don't be a clown like me and not read up on this, go through a battery fire the shutter button and think it's broken when nothing happens. So at the start I said for a month of me owning this camera it was actually broken and the rangefinder patch was way out of line. I'll show you an example here. 
So I was focused on the window, but as you can see, it just nailed focus halfway down the drive. Now, I heard this is a common issue with these cameras, however, it can be fixed, and as long as you're not throwing it around, you should be fine. Right, I am going to stop talking now. I hope you guys found this useful if you are either looking at getting a Mi 7 or just wanted to find a little bit out about the system. If you'd like to see more film related content, you can subscribe for more. You can see my work over on my Instagram, I'll drop the link for that in the caption of the video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.